And over here on the left, um, you can choose who you want to boost it to. So you can boost it only to the people who like your page, um, which they already like your page, so they're probably already going to see it anyway. You might want to customize who it's boosted to. Um, so I boost the career night posts. So I chose um, to choose my targeting. And so you can choose your location. Again, there's not much point marketing to um, like Chicago. Chances of many people moving from Chicago to Nova Scotia aren't that great. I wouldn't spend money on trying to get your post to Chicago. Um, so local, the more local, the better. Um, and then interests. You can't type in any interest you want. They have to be recognized by Facebook. But when you start typing, it kind of gives you suggestions. And once you choose a couple, it gives you more suggestions. So you can just click on whichever ones relate to what you're trying to market to. And then you can choose an age demographic. So when you scroll down, you can choose your budget. Um, so you can make it whatever you want. Like you can see as little as $4 as an option. You can type in whatever you want as well. So I could choose a dollar if I wanted. And it tells you how many people it will reach with the budget you've selected. And you can choose how long it's bo or boosted until. So when I boost the career night posts, I only want it boosted until the career night. There's no point in advertising it after it's done. So you can select the date that you want it to end. And then your billing information goes below. So does that make sense, Layla? Did you catch that, Layla? I'm sorry, were you talking to me? Yeah, did you, so you see how no, that, that, select the budget? That is what I have been doing yeah. for the last couple of years, except that the last time I went on it and I clicked on Boost, it just automatically, uh, the, the picture did not come up. The, the, um, it did not go to the place where I could choose. So I thought they might have changed something. It must have just been a fluke that time. Yeah, it, it, it yeah. really, it was like I couldn't, just couldn't understand it, what happened. Yeah, and once you have a boost posted, you can click on it, and you should be able to edit it. Well, you should, which I have been doing, but it just didn't work last time. It just went directly to boost and boosted it for $21. Hmm, that's strange. Maybe next time, if that happens again, just we can look at it together. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'll just point out, too, you can also look at how your post is going to hook, like, on a mobile device. Yep. So that is really the only need to spend money. It's more beneficial to spend time on social media than money. Um, one of the social media experts in, at Family Reunion started something called 555. So she made five groups of people, and her groups were past clients, her local sphere, her referral groups that she was a part of, close friends, and family. And in each one of those five groups, she liked five things, she commented on five things, and she s sent five personal messages, whether it was, oh, it was nice to run into you at the grocery store last week and catch up, or a happy birthday message. Hold, um, hold on, Erin. Can you backtrack on that one? She yep. divided her groups into f five. She, she divided. Had, she has five groups, and in each group, she did five likes, five comments, and five messages. And a message can be a wall post, not necessarily an inbox message. Um, and she did that every day 
So that's 90 so she had the five groups were like past clients? Yep. So hers were past clients, her yeah. local sphere. Um, her she, sphere. She was part of some referral groups, so that was one yeah. of the groups. Her close yeah. friends and her family. That, that's a, a good way of doing it. Yeah, so it's 90 touches every day. And it would take maybe 20 minutes. Yeah. Does that have personal? You can do it on either your personal or your business page. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, and so she said... She did, it was also the five likes, the five comments, and the five messages that yeah. were um, good. Yeah. yeah. So she did that. She did the three, the comments, the likes, and the messages in each group. So that's 90 touches a day. And she said when she yeah. started doing that, she got one lead a week from Facebook. That's all you'd have to do. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's not guaranteed to work, but that's what it worked for her. No, but it makes sense the way she divided it. Yeah. Because sometimes you might like, but you forget the comment. Exactly. And messages, you, we barely use. But it's also the way she this um, she separated her groups. Yeah. Um, clever. So even five messages seems like it might be hard to do every single day, but you're gonna have two or three birthdays every day. Yeah. So there's yeah. two or three right there. Um, and then it could be like an anniversary. You might notice it's been a year since someone's house closed. You could message them and say happy anniversary or anything at all. Yeah. Um, now, a common thing. In so when, when, she does, when she does the happy anniversary, would she put down the names of her clients? Well, they or were, are we? Tr I think she was posting it on their wall. Okay. She was posting it right to their account. But not, she wouldn't post it on her, um, because then you run into the privacy um, with us. Yeah, I think she was, the personal messages were meant to either be inbox messages or writing yeah. on somebody's wall. But, but so. even at the, an, the anniversary would be, um, would be tricky because you only have, can do it to them. Yeah. Um, no, but for know. us it would be tricky because it's the same thing. You're not allowed uh, to contact people with, certain, you know, about birthdays and stuff. We're not allowed to do that once. Um, yeah, we I think once the you're property. friends on Facebook, though, it's like they're wanting to be friends or they want to have liked your page. You're not. Yeah, well, I also heard the commission is going to start coming down on us on Facebook. Yeah. Um, but so we can do it for now until they stop. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but mind you, the other thing is the the privacy law. Yeah. So that is something that maybe you can ask Anne about. Yeah, us. I will. Um, but I, like, there's always people posting pictures of their clients with sold signs. I know, but that does not necessarily mean that we're allowed to. All right, I will check with Anne. Thank you. All right. Um, so if you did the 555, that would take up 20 to 30 minutes of your lead generation every day. And it would get you a lot more touches than making phone calls. No, that is a good one. Yeah, I liked that a lot when she told us that one. Um, now, another popular theme in Family Reunion was to stop posting your listings. Nobody cares. <laughs> Up to you. Obviously, your seller likes it when you post their listing. But maybe everyone else doesn't. Um, and but you know what? The, the one thing that I have found that if I post my open houses mm -hmm. with and I boost that post yeah. in the area where I'm doing the open house, I do get a lot of hits, for instance, on my visual tours. 
Yeah, I do agree with open houses. Yeah. But maybe yeah. not listings. And then there's always exceptions. I, 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 yeah. They also said if you're going to post listings, don't post average listings. Post maybe a view. If you have a listing on the lake, post a picture of the view. Like even if it's something like I spent my day with this view taking pictures, getting ready for a listing. Rather than shoving the listing in their face, you're posting about yourself, but also promoting the listing. Yeah. Did you guys hear that? I just said Henry actually does that when he's doing open houses. He talks about walking the dog and where he's going to spend his afternoon and looking at a view or overlooking the ocean or whatever it is. Yeah, so that kind of goes back to about um, posting about you, not business. Like they want to like get to know you. So that's it's less pushy, I think. Instead of shoving a listing in their face, you're saying, look at this amazing view that I get to see. And you could too if you bought this house, but less pushy. Um, or if... They're, they, your listing had a pool or like an amazing kitchen or something, but they were saying like average listings, nobody cares about. They're just, that's a way to get people to unfollow you. Or just taking a picture of a fabulous bathtub. Yeah, I mean, something yeah. extraordinary, not just, I got a new listing this week, here's 27 pictures of it. I think, the best, I think one of the best ways to describe it is promote always lifestyle buy-in, yeah. not product buy-in. Yeah, because you're selling yourself. On Facebook, yeah, on Facebook, that's what seems to work best. Yeah. Your job is to sell your listing, but also to sell yourself. Um, and make your pages you not an assistant. You want, I don't know if anybody on right now has an assistant, but might not apply, but um, they followed you or they're friends with you. They want you, not somebody else. Um, and then that being said, another thing that a lot of them said at Family Reunion was your page or profile, whichever you're using, should be 80% you and 20% about business. I do the opposite. Yeah? Thank you for telling me that. Because, <laughs> um, again, you're selling yourself. That's the point of you having Facebook, right? Is you, you want clients, so you want them to know you and like you. And be yourself, not a real estate agent, was another common theme. <laughs> Um, and videos was another topic, um, and about videos, not making them perfect. Perfect videos are boring and are not you. <laughs> like, you, everybody knows if you took a perfect video, it wasn't the first time you tried it, <laughs> like, or it wasn't edited. Um, it's okay to maybe giggle or to mess up your words people and correct to, yourself. People love to see other people fail and laugh at them. It's true. I don't it's know like, anybody it's like falling on it's like falling on a banana peel. You know? yeah. <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw the video that Alex Walker posted of all of her um, like bloopers. She put all of her bloopers together in one video. And it was hilarious and probably her most viewed video. I'll see if I can find it and show you guys. It was really funny. Um, and again, about videos, if you're asked something multiple times, maybe you should make a video about it and post it. Obviously, if you're asked three or four times, it is something that a lot of people don't know. And then 
if you post a video about it before someone needs to ask you, you just look even more on the ball and even more like you know what they're going to ask and more of an expert. I mean, I should be taking a picture of my uh, chipmunk because he's eating yeah. and glaring at me because I didn't give him any more walnuts. <laughs> but stuff like that, it's you, right? It's like Chewbacca. Yeah. I don't know if this is it. I think it was around December that she did that. This one's December 21st. I think this might be it. you guys notice there is almost 1700 views on that video which I'm thinking is probably her most viewed video let's take a look at this one how many views it has I hope there's not one yeah 600 so that just goes to show people don't like perfect videos <laughs> um, her blooper one was funny and I'm sure people watched it multiple times I probably watched it four or five myself and then told everyone in the office about it like oh my god did you see Alex's video she posted last night and then they probably went and watched it too so perfect videos aren't the way aren't you and again it's all about selling you um, that really is all that I have. Um, is there questions? No, it's yes, okay. I have a question. Yeah. What was their comparison website to Facebook? What was that? Did they anybody did they ever mention the changes from website to Facebook? That before you had to have a website, it was mandatory almost, and most people today don't even look at websites, they just look at Facebook. Was um, there a, a discussion on that? Not really. I think they all would have a website as well. Um, yeah. But but there wasn't, there wasn't any mention of what they do differently from one no. to another, for instance. On websites, the most... Uh, like the newest thing right now is probably blogs, which is constantly updating, whereas 
if you're not blogging on a website, there really isn't any updating other than your listings being new. Um, yeah. Whereas social media but blogs is constant. And blogs take time to write. So blogs unless take you have somebody, time. yeah. So unless you have somebody else doing it for you, it's almost trying to keep up with it. Is exactly. Whereas okay. Facebook yeah. is a two-line kind of thing, even just commenting on someone's yeah. stuff. So what what would they what would they put on their uh, uh, on their blogs? Um, mostly market stats, I think. Okay. Like taking time and learning the, like going through the stats of what's going on and giving updates that way, which is something you're not going to post on Facebook. Like that's just going to bore yep. people. Yep. If they want to learn that, okay. stuff, they'll look into it. Yeah. Okay. But I think, I don't think using Facebook substitutes a website. I think you should still have a website. Okay. I know when I'm looking for any sort of professional, if they don't have a website, I don't like it. I don't think that they're professional enough. Erin? Yeah. Can you check out what the rules are with running contests on Facebook um, with Anne? We, we did one leading up to a home show. Yeah. We gave away um, 10 gift cards. Yep. Um, and then when you liked and shared it, um, you got entered to win right. one of them. Can you check out with Anne um, like what the rules are with that? Like we were looking into doing that because um, it was super successful. Okay. Um, I don't. Yeah, I will for sure. I don't think there's any rules because I keep mentioning how we should do it for the office page and she hasn't said I can't. So I think you have to be careful how you offer and it's related to real estate. Yeah, I don't be a on your page and you're telling people, you know, like people know it's obvious you're who you obviously are. Yeah. Um it's okay. It's just it's, a matter of like exit does the contest where if you list with us then you get free appliances or whatever. You can't that. You just all you're doing is asking them to like and share your post. You're not Yeah, I wouldn't do that. <sighs> Isn't there some sort of a rule that it has to be at the brokerage level? It cannot be from the agent level. I think if you're asking them to list with you, like if you're soliciting their business, but I think where you're just asking them to like your page or like the post and share it, you're not. But it still, it, it doesn't, that still infer that it's, I, I think that's a hard one. I think that's an end question. Yeah, I will check with Anne. I have a feeling that Tiffany is right, that it's one thing to ask people to like your page, but to ask them to list with you is completely different. Yeah, but, but she's still a realtor. If she's still doing it, it as a realtor. Yeah, I'll check with it, Anne. It, but yeah. Would and you I'll, mind sending us all an email on the questions we had for Anne? I sure will. Thank you. Is there any other questions? I know it wasn't very technical, but you guys all have your pages set up. Okay. So is there anything we're not supposed to do? Um, like I think there's lots we can do, but is there anything we're not supposed to do? Not obviously to do? nothing <laughs> offside. No swearing. No bathing suit pictures. No drinking pictures. And according to the social media experts at Family Reunion, no listings. <laughs> okay. But obviously it's how you want to represent yourself. Um, again, it's hard to do on a personal page, which is why I think a business page is the way to go. Because um, you can control exactly what's going on there. You can't control if you're at your cottage and your cousin posts a picture of you with a drink in your hand and a bathing suit. You can untag yourself, but people will see it before you untag yourself. Um, but again, that's not saying you shouldn't be friends with your clients because they feel like you are friends, mm -hmm. so they want to be friends on Facebook. Yeah, it's, it's, it is a hard balance because it shows everybody everything about your life. 
So it's, I don't know. And it's also going to depend on the client, right? If you have a client that you've, that you've helped multiple times and you would go out to dinner with and you can have a normal conversation about everyday life rather than just what's going on, like buying or selling a house, they're probably not going to care if there's a picture of you with a beer in your hand. <laughs> like, it completely depends on the client, too. It's a hard balance. One more question, Erin, about yeah. hashtags. Um, yeah. If you're hashtagging and using the, like, the word realtor, are you allowed to do that without the copyright, or like, what are the rules on that right now? Um, I will check with Anne. I have never heard of any rules, and I use hashtag real estate realtor all the time on our business yeah. stuff, and she's yeah. never said anything to me. Okay. But I can check with her. Does anybody have any technical questions on like how to do something? No, but I'm going to go once we get off and see if that boost of mine is not working. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Okay. So no more questions? You can always um, email me or call me or come see me if you need help with anything. Um, whether it's something like technical on how to do something or just suggestions. Um, but keep in mind, I don't, I'm not a realtor, so I don't post as a realtor. So it's a little more difficult for me to help with what to post. I gathered the information from Family Reunion and kind of spit it back out at you guys. Um, the best way to see what is to follow other people and see what they're doing. Um, Chelsea Lafort, I think her name is, she pops up in my news feed all the time. She's another agent. I don't even, I don't remember who she's with. But I don't, is she with Remax? I, yeah, she is with Remax. I have no connection to her whatsoever, but I see her daily in my news feed. And no connection? Not whatsoever. So she's probably. Um, and friends of mine liking things of hers. So. Her friends. Uh, so. Oh. Okay, that probably has something to do with it. Troy just said one of her friends does social media professionally, so that might have something to do with it. But I don't know. I would. I didn't. It pro. It's she is my age, so that probably has something to do with why she pops up in my news feed a lot. But just take notice of people who is popping up in your feed, and you're not trying to follow them. You might want to check out what they're doing. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's all I had for you guys if there's no more questions. No problem. Thanks, Erin. No problem.